Hi everyone, hope y'all are doing well. I'm Ash, y'all are watching Preen Ash. Bye! Aladdin and the Magic Lamp It's a story, hope y'all like it. Once upon a time, a poor boy named Aladdin lived far, far away in the east. One day, palace musician came to market looking for him and said, Come with me, Aladdin. I have something to show you. Aladdin went with him. The magician led him deep into the desert. They reached the mouth of an immense cave blocked by a massive rock. The magician stopped Aladdin and went ahead and started to murmur something which was not clearly audible. Aladdin was astonished to see the rock removed automatically. Magician said, Go into the cave and bring me golden lamp you will find there. Touch nothing but the lamp, the magician said. The cave overflowed with glittering gems and gold coins. Beneath a tree laden with treasures stood an old lamp. This must be it. But why would he want something so old and worthless? Aladdin thought. The moment Aladdin took the lamp, by mistake he touched gems. The whole cave began to shake with thunderous booming sound. Aladdin took the lamp and ran to the mouth of the cave. He asked magician for the help, but he just wanted the lamp and told him to throw it. Aladdin played a trick and kept the lamp with him. The way for entry and exit was closed. He was left all alone. It was so dark. He then thought to clean the lamp and try to lighten up. But then something happened incredible. A genie appeared and asked for his wish. Aladdin was frightened but excited too. He wished for delicious food. And his wish was fulfilled. Aladdin came out of the cave and the genie magic made him wealthy. One day, he came to the Sultan with magnificent gifts and treasures. Your Majesty, I have come to ask your daughter Han for marriage. The Sultan was very pleased, but the princess was unimpressed by his treasures. Aladdin was disappointed but did not want to give up on the beautiful princess. He asked the genie to help him and then the genie created a magic carpet. The magician who was watching him across the room realized he had magic lamp. Aladdin invited her for a ride on the magic carpet. She was surprised and felt so joyful and both had a wonderful time. Touched by his kindness and the beauty he showed her, the princess fell for his love. Turning to the Sultan, he told him to order Aladdin to raise a new palace as he took the princess on the ride through the sky on his magic carpet. As soon as he returned from his magic carpet ride with the princess, the Sultan ordered him to build a palace. Aladdin rubbed the magic lamp and asked the genie if he could build a palace for him. Genie agreed and in some minutes he made a beautiful palace for his master. Aladdin was now able to marry princess. However, the magician was still unhappy. He felt that the magic lamp should have been his and that Aladdin had stolen from him. One day, the magician came to visit Aladdin's palace when Aladdin himself was out hunting. He disguised himself as a merchant and wore a turban around his head. I buy old lamps. Can exchange an old lamp with new one, the magician said. The princess exchanged the magic lamp with new one. The magician's evil plan worked perfectly. Now that he had returned the lamp, he wanted to use it to take the princess and Aladdin's palace for himself. He commanded Genie to take Aladdin's palace and move it to far off desert along with the princess. 
When Aladdin returned home, he was shocked to see that everything was vanished. Aladdin searched far and wide for the princess. Finally, he heard the magician was living in the desert in his palace with the princess. The princess hugged Aladdin when she saw him and told everything. Aladdin and the princess secretly slipped a sleeping pill into the magician wine. As soon as the magician drifted off to sleep, Aladdin snatched the magic lamp from his belt and rubbed it. He ordered the genie to move the palace back to where it was and leave the magician alone in the desert. One day, Aladdin bought the magic lamp to seashore and rubbed it. The genie asked Aladdin for his wish. Aladdin said, "You have granted me so many of my wishes. I want to repay you by letting you free." Genie said, "Of all my many many masters, not one has ever wished something for me. You are so kind." Genie cried. The genie got free and Aladdin tossed the empty magic lamp into the sea and lived out his days in happiness and love without envy and greed. Finally there was happy ending to the story of Aladdin and the magic lamp. Friends thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos yes it's time to say take care bye bye